Have you ever wondered what will happen if you try to drive your standard car into a pool of water? Or peradventure driving a screw into a board with a hammer? How about trying to prepare your favorite dish by starting with the last ingredient? It's a given that in the three scenarios above, the results would range from disastrous to catastrophic. However, you're often guilty of driving a screw into a board using a hammer? Yes, and you're not alone in this. Being born in the 21st century has opened us up to a lot of innovations. From artificial intelligence to virtual reality, we have a whole lot of technology at our fingertips. This easy access to technology has its benefits, but it also has negative effects, one of which is not paying attention. In a recent study carried out by the Economic Times, they found that frequent use of technology has led to a drop in attention span from 12 minutes to about 5 minutes. This would mean an approximate loss of attention, 58.3% of the time. This level of distraction is the reason why we, unknown to us, try to drive a standard automobile on water. Why? We weren't paying attention to learning the intricacies of the automobile or the screw, or as in our AI world, the AI tools available to us. Our video today focuses on exploring what makes the Grok chatbot different from ChatGPT. We'll be going over three major differences between the two and also highlight how these differences can impact their future. Endeavor to stay till the end of this video so that you'll understand these bots and use them effectively to avoid a bot incident. According to a quote by Wayne Dyer, everything in the universe has a purpose. ChatGPT was developed by OpenAI as a commitment to pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve in natural language processing and beyond. Since November 2022, it has done just that, leading a revolution of AI technologies that are reforming and will transform our universe in no small way. On the other hand, Grok's development is rooted in a vision to create an AI that not only excels in technical prowess, but also boasts a unique personality marked by humor and wit. These two technologies, despite being chatbots, are very different from each other. The first major difference is in the language model training of each of them. ChatGPT trains its language models by gathering publicly available data from the internet through a process sometimes referred to as scraping. Scraping involves aggregating content from diverse sources like books, news articles, and social media posts. The data gathered is then used to train the GPT model as we know it today. Grok, however, uses a different approach. Its developer, Elon Musk, in a bid to provide the most up-to-date and relevant information, incorporates real-time data from the X social media platform into training Grok. This is the first AI bot to go against the norm as regards training bots. It is, however, not so surprising seeing that it was conceived by Elon Musk. <laughs> Another and peradventure, the most spectacular difference between these two bots is in their communication style. Remember why Grok was conceived? This post by Joe McLeod is one of the many taunts that have been thrown at ChatGPT since its inception. Another content writer, Ibrahim Duba, didn't just associate it to ChatGPT, but to all AI language models. They're not entirely wrong, as it's almost impossible to read a response from Grok and not want to let out a laugh. If there has ever been a chatbot to threaten the very essence of ChatGPT, then it is Grok. So, whenever you want to have a humorous chat with a bot, consider using Grok. Don't go using ChatGPT and expect to get the same experience. It's like trying to ride an automobile on water and expecting to not get drowned. The next significant difference between these bots is in their industry-specific use cases. ChatGPT is a general-purpose bot, aiding its use in purposes such as creative writing, language translation, and coding assistance across various sectors, whereas Grok targets domain-specific applications e.g. healthcare, cybersecurity, and finance. Think of it as a generalist versus a specialist. The specialist is so good in the one aspect they specialize in. The generalist, however, is a jack of all trades with multiple skills. While being a generalist may pay off, there will be times when specific knowledge is most needed. 
The famous Hong Kong American martial artist and actor Bruce Lee is quoted to have said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Practicing 10,000 kicks once is the path of generalization, which can be associated with chat GPT. Practicing one kick 10,000 times is the path of specialization that Grok boasts. How can these unique characteristics of Grok and ChatGPT impact their future? ChatGPT as we know it has a wide user base. This open access nature fosters a dynamic environment for continuous improvement and innovation. Grok on its end may integrate with Neuralink's brain computer interface technology, offering exciting possibilities for human AI interaction. As we witness the evolution of Grok and ChatGPT, it becomes clear that their impact is not limited to technology alone. Their applications span across various industries, potentially transforming the way we interact with AI and its role in our daily lives. While ChatGPT encompasses general purpose applications, Grok is more attuned to domain-specific solutions. Having gotten to this point, Let's wrap up with this popular quote that holds for everything in existence. It says, In the tapestry of life, every thread has its purpose. Imagine your whole body were hands. How would you see, hear, or even speak? Whether it is ChatGPT, Grok, or any other tool in the market today, they were developed and created with a specific purpose. And knowing that purpose is the first step to using the tool right. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated. You can't afford to miss our amazing explorations of the world of AI. See you in the next video.